Three-year-old Annika Rollins is this territory's youngest detected case of type 1 diabetes when she was tested positive at just two and a half years old. However, helping this young child to manage her diabetes is not, only, is not the only challenge that her parents have had to contend with. Annika was denied access to daycare. More in this report from Sean Rose. Eglantine Laurie Rawlings has had to contend with varying levels of financial and emotional challenges since her daughter, Anika, was diagnosed with juvenile diabetes on January 6th this year. One of the many lifestyle adjustments for Eglantine came when Anika was denied access to a daycare center simply because she is diabetic. She's three years old and to try to get her in a preschool, that has been the most challenging part. Oy. Because when you go and they explain that she's diabetic and they would have to check her sugar or um, that if her sugar is high at a certain time, they would have to administrate her insulin or everything. Most of them were saying it's too risky, they don't want to take it on the hand or it's too much for them, it's too... So right now she's been homeschooled. I have to pay somebody privately to teach her at home. Someone I was willing to try for a month, but due to the fact where sometimes they get frightened to say, well, her sugar is high or, or there's too much kids in the school where they, she don't need a special attention. And it's not to say that she's mentally challenged or anything to say where she need a special thing. I mean, it's quite hard right now with her. And my thing is, is that when she grow up and try to go to primary school, what's going to happen? The fact that this young child was denied access to a daycare center because she is diabetic is of concern to Elton Georges, who commented on the matter in his capacity as vice president of the BVI Diabetes Association. I was not aware of that situation and uh, uh, one would have to look more deeply in, in, into that but uh, my first reaction is that that is indeed uh, very unfortunate um, it, uh, it would appear that uh, this child's rights are being um, submerged somehow uh, and uh, the child's rights are not being respected because each child even with whatever disability you might have, ought to have access to early childhood education. Anika's story points the spotlight on the need for continued efforts to improve awareness about this chronic non-communicable disease in the BVI, with a view to reducing stigma, but also for every individual to make significant lifestyle changes if we are to reduce the number of people affected by diabetes. They need to do something with the educational system where they have at least somebody in the school trained to deal with certain stuff, worrying that the kids would not be turned back from education to say, well, they cannot go to school or the school wouldn't take them because she's a high risk child or it's too many kids in the school where they don't have to or she needs to go to a smaller school. Meanwhile, for Anika's mom, monitoring a child with diabetes can be challenging at times. But at this tender age, Anika is learning how to be aware of and independently monitor her blood sugar levels. There are many people in the Virgin Islands living with type 1 or type 2 diabetes. Some have contracted gestational diabetes during pregnancy. Vice President of the BVI Diabetes Association Elton Georges says the increasing rate of diabetes in the territory is of concern to the association. And that is a major challenge that we at the association are trying to grapple with. The BVI Diabetes Association observed Diabetes Awareness Month in November under the theme Diabetes Protect Our Future to educate the public on ways to fight and prevent this chronic debilitating and costly disease. Georges says there is no mystery to addressing this chronic non-communicable disease eat a healthy balanced diet it's, it's, we can't stress that enough a healthy balanced diet and secondly to be as active as possible 
diabetes is a serious issue. World Diabetes Day was observed on November 14 with the lighting of the Blue Circle just outside the Rotong Ferry Terminal building. The Blue Circle symbolizes the unity of the worldwide effort to fight the effects of diabetes through education and management in reducing the threat to health and life. Estimates suggest that diabetes caused 4.6 million deaths and approximately 465 billion in expenses in 2011. Sean Rose, JTV News.